there was a court order placed on Jamie not to talk about you, an agreement that you both made when you were divorced. Yeah, there was. Um, we both decided that we wouldn't speak about each other just because he said it would help his career as a footballer for me not to sort of talk about him in the press. Mm. So do you feel that he's... I mean, obviously, he has spoken about you. In fact, from the, the very first moment, he hadn't even entered the house, and uh, in the clips sort of his montage of who he was explaining him to people, he spoke about you then. Let's... So already from moment one, uh, talking about you, you emailed him before he went in saying, hi, Jamie, good luck with your job, but just let me remind you of the court order and the fact that I'm the mother of your children who'll be watching, so don't do or say anything that's going to upset them or harm them. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Uh, so day one, and, uh, and that's the introduction. I mean, there's nothing particularly contentious in that, is there? No, there's not, but I just think, you know, he's tried to put, paint me out to be something I'm not, you know, it's not my fault that his career didn't pan out the way he wanted it to. You know, you know, he did buy me a Bentley for our wedding present, but why does he feel the need to discuss them kinds of things on national television? I just think, you know, I didn't want to be sitting here today or to discuss him, really. Like, I abided by the court order and I think he's just... He just doesn't respect me as the mother of his children to be talking about me like that on, on television. So the minute all. you watched that, you were watching that night, were you? I watched him go in, yeah, and just straight away, my anxiety levels, just, like, I couldn't breathe with the fact that, like, you know, straight away he'd said these things about me and I'd actually told him that I was going to allow the children to watch, I was going to record it, but how can I allow them to watch something like this? What? Well, he actually said in that episode that I didn't wish him luck, and obviously the email that you've just read out quite clearly states I wished him luck, and I just think he's trying to paint a picture of me which is untrue, and I just really don't know why he's trying well, to... Well, I mean, that's the question. Why would he want to do that? I mean, you've, you've moved just, on in sorry. your own life. You're good. I know, I can imagine this is painful for you, but... It's just, it's just heartbreaking because I've tried to move on with my life and I, I think he obviously regrets what he's done to me in the past, but I feel like he's now trying to blame me for the fact that I didn't want to stay in that relationship anymore and I think he's trying to hurt me. OK. Well, he, one of the, the big factors, obviously, which has been picked up by the papers and it's been picked up certainly on social media, is, uh, is money. Is he paying out a fortune? Well, he does pay for the mortgage on the house, which is a lot of money, but that was obviously the court's de de decision, sorry. And, you know, it is where his children live. Now, the house has been up for sale for four years, so it's a long time for it not to sell, and I know it's a financial burden on him, but as far as me expecting a life still of luxury, that is just not the case whatsoever. I've always had my own money. I, you know, I was on a lot more money than him when we met. I've got my own house in London. I fund myself, and again, I just feel like he's trying to paint me out to be something I'm not. I feel like it's just so upsetting for me, like I've been having anxiety attacks and he he's on, in there not understanding what he's saying or the impact it's having on mine and his children's lives. Like, Archie goes to school and, you know, children are saying to him, did you see what your dad said on Big Brother last night? And it's it's just not nice. I'm, I'm the one that has to deal with that and it's just... Was there an attempted burglary on one of your cars as well, after yeah. he mentioned after about the, night, the Bentley? After that he mentioned the Bentley and the money, he, um, someone tried to basically steal the cars off the drive and I found someone scrambling over the fence. If one of the other things uh, he mentioned was what, what uh, you were allegedly like on a night out. So how did you feel when he said that? Just shocking. Like, he hasn't been with me for almost four years. I don't know how he can even talk about me as a person and not even not knowing me. Like, I'm the mother of his children. Like, why do you think it's acceptable to talk about me like that on television? Something that, you know, in a few years his children might look at and say, why did you say that about my mum? Do you think that there is an aspect... Uh, I mean, he's not here to defend himself, yeah. and I'm sure there'll be a lot of that when he, when he eventually comes out, that in a house like that, 
you do play you know, sort of free and loose with your conversation because you forget that every single thing is recorded and can be edited as such. Yeah. Are you are you taking that into consideration? Yeah, I am, but I just think he you know, I wouldn't mind if he went in there and said, you know, I was married to Danielle, I did cheat, I messed up, but I'm moving on with my life and I'm, you know, this is my new beginning, but instead he just keeps going on about me and it's just not nice for me, it's not nice for the kids. And over the money issue as well, like, when he lost his job and he was meant to pay me the two and a half thousand pound maintenance a month, I actually spoke to him and I was like, you know, I understand that you can't afford that money anymore, but, you know, any, anything, if you can just help with the boys like that. Have they asked you to go in? You could go in and they, confront him. Yeah, they have asked me to go in, but I'm not going to. I, one, I wouldn't leave my children, and two, I just think you know, it would just be for everyone else's entertainment. Not, not, it wouldn't be fun for me, and it wouldn't be fun for the kids. Thanks for watching. Click here for more this morning videos.